former President Trump will hold a rally in Pennsylvania today to campaign for television star and Republican Senate candidate Dr. Mehmet Oz. Now, the state's primary election will be held on May 17th in about 10 days. The former president is scheduled to take the stage in Greensburg tonight. J.D. Vance, who won Ohio's Republican Senate primary, <clears throat> excuse me, after being endorsed by Mr. Trump, will also speak at the event. Uh, joining us now is CBS News Washington reporter Caitlin Huey Burns. Caitlin, welcome back. As you know, analysts believe that uh, President Trump's endorsement helped J.D. Vance win this primary earlier this week. Could the president's support have the same results, the same impact for uh, Dr. Oz's race? Well, Mola, that's certainly what Dr. Oz and his campaign are hoping for. They were watching those results in Ohio because they are also endorsed by Donald Trump, and they saw the way in which Trump's endorsement really helped propel uh, Vance to the finish line. And earlier in the race, he was down in the polls, had trouble fundraising. That all changed when he got the Trump endorsement, and that really helped him win. Uh, the dynamics in Pennsylvania could be a little bit different than Ohio. In Ohio, Trump uh, is very popular among Republicans. He won that state overwhelmingly in 2020. In Pennsylvania, he lost. But in a Republican primary, there is this question of Trump's influence. And right now, Republicans competing in primaries are wanting the endorsement from Donald Trump because they believe it helps them turn out the base of support needed for these primaries. Oz is locked in a very tight race with Dave McCormick, a hedge fund manager who is married to Trump's former national security advisor, David McCormick is also endorsed by Mike Pompeo, Trump's former uh, secretary of state. Uh, so a lot of uh, kind of competing interests here. Um, but Oz is certainly hoping that this rally tonight can help rally the troops in his uh, primary. And, you know, of course, he's going to want to hope that when Trump takes the stage, he gets his name right. Remember, a couple of weeks ago, uh, Donald Trump got Vance's name wrong when he was uh, campaigning for him. So we'll see what he has to say today. So, Caitlin, Dr. Oz has reinforced his anti-abortion rights position. Uh, he did so in a televised debate a couple of days ago. Interestingly, the former president has been largely silent on this subject since this big Roe v. Wade Supreme Court leak. Now, we know this is a relatively new issue to inject itself into the race at this point. But what, if anything, can we expect to hear about the issue tonight? Yeah, it's a really good way to think of this, Tanya. Earlier this week, when the Republicans in the Pennsylvania race were debating, the issue of abortion rights was a centerpiece, because that was uh, the news of the day. Oz has been attacked from the right, uh, from some of his rivals, for some of his uh, pro-abortion rights stances in the past, which shows how, you know, uh, this issue plays in a Republican primary. There's still a lot of support among Republicans and conservatives to toe that line. But the question is how Republicans campaign on this in the general election. And you bringing up Trump brings up a really interesting point, because in 2016, remember, Republicans coalesced around Donald Trump, even though they had issues with him, because they knew that he could play a huge role in reshaping the Supreme Court and courts across the country. And also, this issue of abortion was something that unified Republicans in a way that few other issues do. So now, you know, it will be interesting to see whether the former president starts touting this as an achievement. I mean, it is something that he could tout as an achievement in terms of conservative principles, because he did say he would appoint pro-life justices to the Supreme Court. He did, and that will uh, lead to what we expect is an overturning of Roe versus Wade. But Republicans on Capitol Hill have not really been, you know, touting this as a victory, at least not yet. They've been instead focused on the leak of the brief or the leak of the decision, uh, the draft decision, not so much on the substance. And that's because when you look at polling, uh, a majority of Americans support keeping Roe versus Wade in place, even though there are a lot of nuances when it comes to the types of, uh, of restrictions there. But could this be an issue that becomes a liability for Republicans? Um, it, it remains an open question. Democrats, as we know, are thinking that they are going to be able to galvanize a lot of folks with this as an issue. So it'll be very interesting to see whether and how the former president brings this up tonight, given his uh, key role in reshaping the courts to get it to this point. Interesting. Indeed. All eyes will be watching. Caitlin Huey Burns in Washington. Thank you. Thank you.